Well, Josh, police say that there was just one minor injury after four cars were rammed on Granite Street just moments after fans started leaving Northeast Delta Dental Stadium. It was a chaotic scene on the Granite Street Bridge Thursday night after authorities say a black Audi trying to run from police struck several cars. Police say the incident started on Elm Street around 10 o'clock when a patrol officer saw that car with no registration and tried to pull it over. The vehicle made an abrupt U-turn, headed south on Elm Street. Officer Healy followed the vehicle, activated his emergency lights. The vehicle opted not to stop for the officer, continued through a posted red light at Elm and Granite. Officials say the car then turned right, heading west on Granite Street. Police say what made the situation extremely dangerous is the Fisher Cats game had just ended and the area was clogged with people leaving the stadium. You had heavy pedestrian traffic and vehicle traffic. So the officer immediately stopped pursuing the vehicle because the vehicle was continuing at a high rate of speed, went through two more red lights at Canal Street, Commercial Street. Police say the Audi then struck four cars, some suffering heavy damage, before it stopped at the on ramp to Route 293. Police say once the Audi stopped, the driver jumped out of the car and started running this way towards the city's west side. Police say they tried a canine track but came up empty. They have the car but only a vague description of the driver. The only thing the officer could describe was it was an African American male wearing a black hat and a light colored t-shirt. We didn't have any further descriptors and at this point in time it's still being investigated whether or not this vehicle was in fact stolen or it may have been the operator's vehicle. Police are asking anyone who may have information that could help identify the driver of that Audi to please give them a call. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.